Libra. Libra, welcome. We're going to get right into this for you guys. Um, I've got three cards. To start things off, we have the Queen of Swords. It's clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. I know it's more typically more than what I would uh, have come out, but that's okay. We're going to leave it and start seeing what's going on for you. Queen of Swords. For some of you, it seems that with the Queen of Swords here, there is a lot of calculating going on. There is a deliberateness in your thinking. For some of you, you may be looking at schooling um, or learning about your future and how that has, um, how that's shaping up in your current situation. I almost feel like there's been a block in which you've been trying to go further into the future, but it's um, monetarily, and it's it's hit kind of like a bump. It's it's kind of gotten stuck. Uh, we have the Ten of Wands, so that kind of says you know this has been difficult. This has been something that has really caused you a lot of uh, energy and effort. And with the Eight of Cups, you may be walking away from it. You know, it just didn't turn out to be the dream that you wanted. So learning about how to change your future or how to move into a different future. Now, when we look to the possible desire, we see the world card. Now, this ties in very well with what we're seeing. We have the Judgment card, the Justice card, and Temperance. So we have all major arcana here. So this is something that's been on your mind uh, big time. With the world, I see as a an ending and a new beginning or a new chapter. That doesn't mean it's all going to be uh, lollipops and rainbows, but We can see that desire for that that clean new page. We have judgment, which is, it just seems like something that's come around it has been very, very difficult for you to deal with this. That's why you're wanting that new page. And then we see the justice card, which is your energy. And whatever it is that is, um, God, it's clinging to you whatever it is it's kind of like sticky and you just can't get rid of it kind of like when you get sap on your hands and it kind of has to wear off um, that's kind of the feeling that I get uh, temperance you know that that things are changing slowly over time that it's all it all has a purpose and what that is you may not be clear on it and again that's probably why you're wanting this new start because whatever's come back for you with the judgment card, there needs to be a balance. Uh, it needs to change. It has been um, stagnant way too long. The outcome. That was kind of fast, sorry. Uh, the outcome in the new future is the Seven of Swords. Followed by the Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Emperor. Now, as I was doing the pre-shuffle, the Emperor and the Six of Cups did come out. And I see this that it may seem really unfair, right? I hear the words that somebody's just fucking with you. Now, this can be somebody from your past or that just the current situation is really unfair. But there's somebody coming from your past with the Six of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor that is going to really help you put wheels into motion where you're going to sort of grab a hold of your, I want to say grab a hold of your personal power. I want to say reestablish that 
because it's not a like it's not as an abrupt type of thing this is really funny uh, because the uh, tower came out earlier as well the fact that we have the Emperor and the Empress on the table there is a connection here now I had, during the pre-shuffle, I kept having the lovers fall out and I had the ace of um, cups fall out twice, which was really strange. So what's working for you is your understanding that things are breaking down. Uh, not breaking down as in like, oh, that's broken. Things are... Um, you're able to look at things and see the impermanence of them, if you will. You're still learning to juggle things that are um, sort of falling apart. It seems like it's all falling apart. Uh, it's more of in a, in I want to say in an emotional sense uh, that the path you're still on the path. And then with the King of Wands, uh, I want to say you're handling it like a boss. And then, but it really, it really fires you up. Like it's, it's not, um, it's like a hot and cold type of thing. Now, we have the Ace of Pentacles in which you need to be aware of. So there could be some type of uh, job coming in for you. Uh, new business, that type of thing, which gives you a glimpse into the future with the Three of Wands here. However, it does trigger a couple of fears. Those fears seem to be around and are tied to things that make you feel insecure. And you may be reluctant to face those fears. And that's okay. Um... Facing those fears is is an important is an important thing. Now the lovers comes out. This is kind of funny. We have the ten of cups followed by nar, 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 the lovers, the nine of wands, and the six of pentacles. There is happiness in a connection that awaits you. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing the words, what you want wants you. Does that make sense? Uh, the Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. This kind of may seem out of reach with the Nine of Wands here. It's that sort of wounded warrior where you're still working through all of this. But... The Six of Pentacles, as you're going through this, there's somebody there that will help with that situation. And because this particular Six of Pentacles actually has the scale in it, I see this as somebody that is helping you. Somebody that is... Um, the scales, yeah, it's just very directed towards you. Even though it may seem difficult, it's going to be worth it. It's going to help you attain that Ten of Cups, that emotional well-being, that um, idea of, of like a happy, a happy family, while at the same time being something that is very, very um, passionate should you choose to, to pursue that. Uh, not only just passionate towards you, but you being passionate towards somebody else. It may take work, but in the end, it seems with this read that it'll be worth it. So that's what I've got for you today. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.